Hi guys, I'm Tiffany. I'm at NBC at the moment, and today I'm going to be reacting to my Commonwealth Games match. Yeah, so we have me walking out of the wow. tie against Pakistan. Um, yeah, good thing. Oh, <laughs> that's a real fan there. The bow tie, but it's actually upside down. <laughs> I didn't notice that I watched it after. I think I was a little bit nervous. You can hear the whole crowd like cheering, trying to get in the zone. Never really played in a crowd this big before, so it was like a really good experience. So the warm up, I think my legs are shaking quite a bit, but um, just trying to keep it together. I don't think you can tell. Um, so, yeah, this is third match. Uh, before this, we had already won the mixed doubles and we lost the men's singles. We were one all already against Pakistan. Yeah, they're just commenting about how short yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think that's one of the things they always mention. Yeah, I guess in this preparation time, I'm just trying to get used to the feel of the court, the speed of the shuttle, uh, the lights around. We've had like a couple practice sessions on this court as well. In this tie, we did play, and it was the prime time. Uh, I think it was. Oh no, sorry, it wasn't prime time. <laughs> I think I was just trying to like block out everything. Um, I'm not trying to think too much or overthink. Because the opening rally for me, I'm always a little bit like, a little bit nervous, trying to get like everything under control. Um, so I, my legs get a little bit jelly, but I think I settled in maybe after a couple of points. Yeah, actually in the main court, the shuttles can be quite slow. So we actually had to use quite a lot of energy to clear like from back court to back court. Yeah, it could be quite like physically exhausting. Yeah, I guess even from this rally, you can tell that <laughs> both of us are kind of like rally players. You know, it's been quite long rally already. Um, so I knew like from that point, it was gonna kind of be like a grind match. You know, just have to keep keep pushing for every shot. Retrieving because she's quite um quite tall, so oh, well, taller than me. So <laughs> she, I think her retrieving game was like quite good, and she has yeah I guess we saw from that like quite good steep attacking shots. So I guess for me in like the early points, like starting from the beginning, I'm pretty much mentally like straight into it. I you know get the yells, the fist pumps going. It just gets me more focused in the match. And I think that drives me to like keep going for every rally. That's one of, one of the things that helps me during the match to calm the nerves as well. Yeah, I can tell like every single one. I'm just really giving it all with my fist pumps and cheers. <laughs> yeah, so here I think I was, you know, more calm, I guess. I uh, wasn't too nervous. Yeah, I think at this time, coaches were just giving me the game plan and how to approach this game. Just making sure that I keep the court open, not attacking too early, because sometimes when I do that, I can just make a mistake or she does a good block and my follow-up's not too good. Down by just one point, it's really still quite close. I think I was maybe getting a little bit tense, uh, really trying to aim for the corners, but um, you know, it's with the drift, out a bit, um, causing a little bit more of a gap. I'm just trying to stay calm at this point and just keep the rally going. That's uh, wow, very good yeah. another unforced error, making it 2016. Listen carefully, bros. Yeah, I think even at this point, for me, I always think that I have an opportunity to get the set. I always think, okay. Still win. I'm still gonna give my best. I never really just try like give up the rally or anything. Um, staying with the shouting and the self talk. Uh, keep it going just to keep me really focused in the match, especially in these like really vital points. Um, just trying to stay calm, take my time before serve. Um, 
keep breathing. She's just, yeah, I think she just unfortunately smashed it right to my racket so it's easy for me to just defend to the side. Um, but yeah, unfortunately with that one, just, I think still a little bit too tense, could have taken my time a little bit more in between the rallies, um, but yeah, just I think a little bit too soft with those shots, just trying to aim for you know, perfect shots instead of just getting it over and keeping the rally going. It's the beginning of the second set. I think after that like kind of close first set, I went into it knowing that I still had a chance. Wasn't going to give up, was going to keep fighting. Just trying to start off well. Because she's quite tall, I give her the short lift and her attack is quite good. So. Yeah, just... Oh, that was close. Uh, I think the hesitation of the line judge as prompted. Yeah, so that one, as Jill Clark is saying, um, the line judge did hesitate. I think it was very close. Personally, I thought it was in, so I just gave it a go, challenged. I didn't know where to look at this point because I couldn't see the screen or anything. Um, so I was kind of staring at the umpire's screen and it's like tiny and I like couldn't see if it was in and out. Um, but yeah, it was a really close um, challenge and good call from the line judge. Just, just tried it. It was pretty fun, you know. Just getting a hand up. That's my first challenge ever. So it was, it was fun. I think at this point, I kind of realised that. Um, well, I knew that Shazad's attack was quite good, so I had to watch when I serve for her attack to my more to my backhand side. Yeah, as you can see, this second set is also like quite close. I think. It was only one or two off the entire match, uh, points wise. Um, so it was close. Yeah, yeah, nice early backhand net. Opportunity. Trying to attack. Oh, that's a wonderful forehand net. Yeah. So, wow. okay, got that that's under nice net. Really lucky. I, I think that's like a habit for me. It's not good when I do it early, but at the bottom, sometimes I can just like get it over. Um, so I got the short lift and just went all out for that smash at the body and hoping, yeah. It was <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> So I think this is the only point where I might have had a three-point lead. Um, but punch clear, ready for the backhand cross smash. Oh, maybe I had cross smash. Another long rally. Just trying to stay in, hit the four corners. Yeah. So that one, I don't know if it was from my own sweat or something. Or, yeah, but it was a slight slip. I think Jill Clark said like, oh she thought I might have twisted my ankle. So everyone online from home that were watching were like messaging me, it's like, oh is your ankle okay, is your ankle okay? I was like, oh yeah, it was fine. It still hurt like a little bit, but I was like, you know, just shook it off, trying to focus on the next thing. But my ankle was all good, no problems there, just a slight slip. Who is going to have the game or match point? I knew this one, this one was a little bit longer and I knew I just had to stay in it and I gave everything I could to go for that last shot. In the back of my mind, I kind of knew she was going to hit that shot but I just wasn't, my legs were just not fast enough so I just threw my body towards it. Um, yeah, oh, that was so close, I felt like I really could get it over. You got it over, you could get up and yeah, definitely. That I is think a class in the back of my mind, at that point, I was just ready to Wonderful. give everything to keep Wonderful. going. And 
Whenever I die, I'm always ready up for the next one. I knew that if I uh, couldn't win this one, then uh, would be to one down and tie as well. That makes it a little bit tougher for my team to, you know, pull off the win. Uh, yeah, got to have a bit of a towel down when the white's caught. Give myself a reset. Let's go wide. And yeah, that's an unforced error. Maybe a little bit too tense for me. When I think back at it, I, gave, I really did try to give everything that I could into this match, try to win it for my team. But maybe just, especially when it got to 15 or, um, or past 15, maybe it got a little bit too tense. Um, just doing some more unforced errors, which gave her the opportunity to pull ahead and get to 21st in both sets. Thanks for watching guys and make sure you catch me at the Shirley Badminton Open on the 15th of November.